Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide. It's your boy Big Will back with some more boxing talk. A lot of people been running their mouth over the weekend. Um, mainly uh, Jared Swift Hurd's team. They called out Kel, the special one, Brooke. And um, a lot of people been talking about it, man, saying that Jared Hurd would destroy Kel Brooke. Now, me, myself, I don't agree with that at all. Now, I'll be the first one to say that um, over the last couple fights, Jared Hurd has definitely made me a believer. Um, in fact, three fights ago, I didn't even know who Jared Swift Hurd was. You know what I mean? When he fought Tony Harrison, I believe that was the first time I um, had a chance to watch uh, Jared Hurd, and I thought he was awful, man. I thought he was, you know, I thought he had no skills, and the victory over Tony Harrison... I chalked that up to being Tony Harrison wasn't, you know, wasn't all that. You know what I mean? Um, and 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 then when he fought Austin Trout, I was rooting against him. You rooting against him against Austin Trout. I thought Austin Trout um, would expose him. Boy, he kind of did. Austin Trout started off having a hell of a hell of a fight, man. The first half of the fight. He was actually showing off. That might have been his best offensive display, defensive display that Austin Trout has ever put on in the first half of that fight. Now, he did lose the fight. Um, Jared Hurd did stop him. Jared Hurd was able to break Austin Trout down, wear him down, and, 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 and stop him. I give him credit for that. You know what I mean? After that fight, I'm like, okay, yeah, I kind of believe, kind of believe dude might got something. You know what I mean? And then the fight was announced that he was going to fight um, Eris Landy Lara. I believe that was in January. And I immediately, you know, I said, there's no way that um, Jared Hurd is going to beat Eris Landy Lara. You know, I was on Twitter um, talking about it. Me and Jared Hurd actually went back and forth over the topic. You know what I mean? And, and we, we left it as, you know, we're just going to agree to disagree. I didn't disrespect him. You know what I mean? I just told him, you know. That I didn't think he was ready for a fight a fighter like Laura, and I think Laura was going to take him to school. Um, not knows exact words, but that was the point uh, of it. You know what I mean? He just basically said I was entitled to my opinion, and uh, you know, and and he gonna prove a lot of people wrong. So when he beat Laura, uh, well, the way he fought Laura, you know. Um, I'm I made a believer. I believe that Jared Hurd is is a problem. You know, Jared Hurd is definitely a problem. Um, but I do believe that Laura won that fight, man. With the knockdown, I believe Laura won that fight. But hey, you know, uh Jared Swift Hurd is definitely the real deal, man. And um he, you know, he captured he captured another title, became uh unified champion. Jared Swift Hurd's style is tailor made for Kell Brook. He get hit way too much, you know what I mean? Um uh Eris Landy Laura, he fought he fought Hurd a little different than he usually fought fight. You know, he, he spent a lot of time in, in the inside, you know what I mean? And it looked real good. You know what I mean? It was a real good fight. But I do think Kel Brook is a better fighter in the inside than Eris Landy Laura. I believe that Kel Brook hits harder than Eris Landy Laura. And um I just believe Kel Kel Brook has more uh, offensive weapons than Eris Landy Lara. And I believe Carol Brook will um give Jared Hurd some problems like with his with his style, with his speed. You know what I mean? And the question is, like in every fight, is Jared Hurd gonna be able to take uh Carol Brook vicious attacks? Is he gonna be able to do it? And that's gonna determine the outcome of the fight. I don't think he can. I think Carol Brook will um will will defeat him and you know a lot of people are questioning Kell Brook's heart you know this and that but you cannot question Kell Brook's heart you just can't do it um when Triple G when everybody was scared of Triple G I mean everybody nobody wanted to speak his name if you spoke his name uh you better be on his on his side you know what I mean you, nobody wanted to speak his name Danny Jacobs said he wasn't ready for Triple G at the time Billy Joe Saunders he didn't want no smoke nobody wanted smoke because Triple G was just crushing people at 160 pounds but Kel Brook said you know what I'm a welterweight but I'll go up two weight divisions and fight this monster that no middleweight wants to fight. Then you're going to question Kell Brook's heart. Kell Brook 
just said, uh, I'm going to go back down and wait. Everybody was scared of Earl Spence. Didn't nobody want to fight Earl Spence. Nobody was speaking Earl Spence's name. You know what I mean? Nobody wanted to give this young lion a chance to, to whoop their ass uh, on his first big fight on, on, his, on his elite level. But guess what? Carol Brooks said, I'm not. He could have easily vacated his title and, and stayed at 154 back then. But he said, there's no way. I'm a true champion. I'm going to fight this young monster that everybody keeps talking about. You know? And he went in there and fought Earl Spence. And guess what? He lost to both of them. He lost to both of them. And um, the same way, actually, um, orbital bone broke on this eye, orbital bone broke on that eye, and everybody's writing him off as a coward. He could have continued. He could have continued. You know, a fighter supposed to go out on a shield. And, you know, normally, I'm a, I'm a fan who believes that. You know what I mean? But then you got to have empathy. You got to put yourself in the shoes of the other man. Now, if you're fighting somebody, just imagine this. Just imagine. Now, they're fighters, but just imagine. You're fighting somebody with a broken bone in your in your face, a broken bone, and that and that bone just keep getting hit, just keep getting hit, just keep getting hit over and over again. And not 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 to mention you're already you know skeptical because you you almost lost the eye in the first fight. So now in this fight you're wondering, oh man, they told me I almost lost my eye. Can I lose this eye in this fight? You gotta think about all that, man. And would you continue to fight? You know what I mean? Getting hit and that broken bone in your face. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Kel Brook is, is definitely no coward. Um, I think under the circumstances, I will give him that pass. Uh, I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that, but hey, I call it like I see it. You know, I'm going to give him a pass for that. Um, Jared Swift Heard is a monster at 154, but um, I think for the style that Kel Brook comes with, I think Kel Brook um, will be able to to, to stop Jared Hurd. Um, that's the only way you're going to beat beat a Jared Hurd is to hit him real hard, man. Hit him real hard and um, stop some of that pressure. Um, either you got to knock him out or you got to give him something to think twice about. You know what I mean? Hit him real hard and stop some of that pressure because if not, he's just going to continue to wear you down, wear you down, and wear you down. And if Carol Brook don't get his respect early and hit him with something big, then he will possibly... Um, be able to wear Carol Brook down, but I do not believe that for a second. I think Carol Brook is too crafty. Um, he's he's strong. He hits too hard. You know what I mean. And then, and then on the other side of the of the super welterweight division, to change su change the subject, you got you got my man Hami Munguia, who I've been telling you about in the last couple of videos. Before he fought Saddam Ali, I was telling you about him. Uh, when he went, when they was talking about him fighting Triple G, I told you guys about him. Um, he's the real deal. Well, he called out Jamel Charlo. He said, "I want that green strap. The green strap is the most prestigious belt there is in boxing, and Jamel Charlo has it, and I want it." He said he won a tune-up fight in Tijuana um, first, and then he won that green strap later this year. Uh, I told y'all, he, he ain't playing around, man. He ain't wasting no time. You know, some I, I was watching a, um, a couple channels that I, you know, I like to watch on YouTube. And, and the guy was talking about how he thinks Munguia is just using Jamel Charlo's name uh, for for publicity. You know what I mean? And and I'm I'm just shaking my head laughing like, man, this guy's the real deal, man. He's 21 years old. Um, he's been knocking out everybody, steamrolling everybody, man. He's been doing this, man. He's heavy handed. He's heavy handed. He's long. He's lanky. And he and he comes to fight. He comes forward, man. Um, and he got a little defense too. Um, he got a little defense. He didn't get to show it too much in a Saddam Ali fight. But um look up some of his fights, man. He's the real deal. And uh Jamel Charlo gonna have all types of problems with him if he if he takes the fight. You know what I mean? Um I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Munguia fight uh, a guy like Lubin, Erickson Lubin. Um, that would be a good good matchup. Um, but I I don't know, man. I don't know which which guy is what super welt welterweight is going to come on top of this on this thing here, man. This thing has got very 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 interesting with um, the addition of uh, Hami Munguia, man. Um, you still got Laura WBC ordered. Ordered the rematch between Laura and Hurd. Um, you know, I think I think they should just. You know, I don't know why they 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 rematched it. Um, 
I think Lord took a lot of punishment in that fight, more punishment than, than he has ever taken. And I'm I'm kind of concerned about how that punishment will affect him. You know what I mean? I think it will have an effect on him. He took a lot of punishment, a lot of punish, punishment, man. His face was his face was all big like Rocky Dennison mask, man. It was blown up real real bad, man, for for a week or two. And um, I just believe I really like Eris Landy Lauren, man. I think he's an excellent fighter, man. Um, but I think he took way too much punishment in that fight. I do not know why he chose to uh, stay in the inside like he did. Uh, maybe he had to prove a point. Uh, maybe he's he's getting older and his legs ain't there like they used to be. Um, but however, um, I'm interested to see these next couple months, seeing who's, who's going to match up with who. Um, Jamel Charlo fighting Austin Trout. Um, I'm not too much interested in that. Um, I don't understand why the fight, you know, why he had to fight Austin Trout. You know, I don't understand how Austin Trout is getting all these chances at all these um, titles. How is Austin Trout being able to get all these title shots, man? It's, it's just it's just crazy to me. Um, his signature win was over Cotto. Um, and, and Cotto, you know, at the time, I don't think Cotto's heart was all into boxing. Um, he was talking about retirement back then. So Cotto been... Cotto been checked out of boxing, man. Cotto been checked out of boxing. Although Austin Trout can box, you know what I mean? Can box. He comes game all the time. But um, Jamel Charlo, Austin Trout, I don't want to see it. But um, that's all I got for now. It's your boy Big Will uh, for Big Faces Worldwide. Hey, and don't forget, don't forget if you if you if you enjoy my videos, man, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gonna keep dropping dropping this boxing talk on you. Holla at you later.